Democratic Senator Kamala Harris of California joins us now from Capitol Hill only on CBS this morning. She is a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee and will be part of Monday's public hearing. Senator, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, you were California's attorney general, a former prosecutor. Would yeah. you be able to bring a case like this, 36 years old, to trial? Uh, potentially, but you know, I think that the issue here is that this is not about necessarily a criminal investigation. This is also about what we need to do around a background investigation into who Brett Kavanaugh really is. The American public deserves to know the character of someone who will serve for his entire life on the highest court in our country. And I think one of the issues that is getting a bit conflated here is the distinction between a criminal investigation and a background investigation. I want to know about this guy's background, and the American public wants to know about his background. We need to know, are we about to put somebody on the United States Supreme Court who committed a sexual assault? So the FBI and has done six background checks. Are you calling into question the integrity of the FBI? No, I don't think we have to go there, Nora. I think that the issue is that the FBI needs to do a background check on this particular issue and, and, and provide it to the United States Senate, who has a constitutional responsibility to advise and consent on a nominee to the, our highest court, who will, again, serve for his lifetime. Senator Harris, this is a classic he said, she said case. Somebody isn't telling the truth. He says he wasn't even at the party. So what is your process to determine who's telling the truth here? Well, listen, I think it's going to be about, it comes down to credibility, to your point, Gail, and it's going to be about uh, listening to what each party has to say. But I believe her. Listen, first of all, anybody who comes forward at this point um, to, to, to be prepared to testify in the United States Senate against someone who is being nominated to one of the most powerful positions in the United States government, that takes an extraordinary amount of courage. And frankly, you know, I have personally prosecuted sexual assault cases, and my concern is, and she knows this, she is putting herself out there knowing that they're going to try and excoriate her. And she's doing it, I believe, because she knows that this is an important matter. It's a serious matter who serves on that court, and she has the courage to come forward. She has nothing to gain. So, Senator, what does she have give, to gain? So given those concerns, would you ever yeah. put a crime survivor on the stand, let alone before the American people, without first doing an investigation? I believe that, there sh that the FBI, Nora, to your point, mm -hmm. is, is, it should f be compelled to do its job in terms of doing, uh, completing their background investigation. And that's not being done. And the White House is not directing it. The Department of Justice is not directing it. I'm not faulting the men and women of the FBI. I think we have an extraordinary amount of talent in that agency who are really well equipped to do this kind of investigation. But Senator, they're not being given the authority to do it. That's the concern I have. Senator, and let me be clear about it. The statistics are clear. You know, there's been a lot of talk about, well, why is she now coming forward? Why didn't she report? Over 60%. The sexual assault victims never report the crime against them. And usually there is something that precipitates it so, later Senator, that triggers their, 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 their feeling of responsibility to report. Senator, what, this isn't a court of law, and so I wonder what the standard is here for you. And also just, is it possible that while uh, everything she feels is absolutely firm in her bones, that she may just have the wrong guy? I think that we're going to all be able to judge her credibility when she testifies before the United States Senate. Um, but I, I believe her. You know, she's pretty specific about the, the, the structure of the House so, where it happened. She's pretty specific about who exactly so was involved. She her. didn't just name one person. She's have, named Sen two. Senator, you spoke no, I've with read, her? No. No, I've read the letter. And let me ask you I've this, Senator. In the culture right now, we have two conflicting things in justice. We have, on the one hand, people who aren't listened to who are accusers. Yeah. On the other hand, we have people who go to jail because they've been wrongly accused. So yeah. those two things Good to point. be colliding in a place where it's awful difficult because of politics to get things straight. How's that all going to get sorted out and get to the truth and have procedural yeah. fairness? Well, John, I, I think that, listen, this, this comes back to the point about ordering the FBI to do a comprehensive and complete background check. I, am, I, I strongly believe that the FBI, and, and in particular the people in the FBI who have the experience of dealing with sexual assault cases, should be charged with doing an investigation. And again, this is about this guy's background. It's not about proving a crime. It's about his background. I have had many cases 
where there was enough evidence to believe something happened, but not necessarily prove it beyond a reasonable doubt in a courtroom, but it doesn't mean it didn't happen. The United States Senate needs to know who this person, Brett Kavanaugh, really is. And That's the issue. And Senator, this is uh, when you talk about character, tell me the calculus for you then, if this happened, um, th there's also uh, 36 years of behavior or, or 30 odd years of behavior subsequent to that that's also happened. How do you weigh those? Well, I think that we need to look at everything that is in his background. I mean, that's the whole purpose of, of, of having this process. And let's also be clear that the process has been flawed from the very beginning. They've been pushing through this nominee without a complete vetting. Let's not forget that we have only been presented with 10 percent of all documents that are available about his background. Consistently, this process has been about pushing something through without a complete and thorough vetting of who this guy is and well, without allowing Monday, the United Monday, States Senate on to Monday, review Senator who he really Harris, is. We'll all get a chance to hear what both sides have to say. We thank you again yep. for joining us this morning. Thank we, you, Senator. Thank we, you, guys. We appreciate it. Thank you it. for your work. Thank you.